not interested in the pack this time. He's playing the loose red, then black to the other corner. Gives him good access to the two open reds. And again, the top of the little bunch of four are flat. So he may be thinking, even this early, 13. about attacking after he takes the two loose reds, attacking from top side of blue again. We'll see. Nineteen. Yeah, see, he's, he's leaving this red to get top side of blue. Twenty-seven. And once again, he has the optimum angle to just caress these reds into the open. The two top reds are pretty square on, so he was very unlikely to skim off them. And finishing a quarter pocket, but if he was avoiding that, he couldn't avoid Settle down, please. knocking a red in out of the bunch. One. Another red and the black. 16. Or blue. 17. And Higgins will be needing an unlikely number of snookers. Point two. Point four. A lot of class on display. A key moment in the frame. Well, some ill luck suffered by Higgins. 31. Opening the bunch, but unforeseeably knocking a red in. 36. And then the first two frames have been shared, one apiece. Well, he's running Sullivan, 12 seconds a shot. That is quicker than anything on the tour. Now, Ronnie is not very keen on getting involved in long bouts of safety. And he's, I think, looking at cutting this red in. John was happy enough with his the shot he played. One. That's a better shot than he looks as well. Eight. Well, he's normally got an immaculate control of the cue ball, but in this little break, not yet. Well, look at this for a shot. Well, he's unleashing all of the shots now. Striving for position, and he still isn't quite right there. And there's a, a plant has turned up from nowhere. Near jaw, and he just fell in off the near jaw. Point. Point one.
Point eight. Point nine. Thirty-six. Well, he's playing as quickly as, as he can. Thirty-seven. Referee Desislava Boshalova is, is having to scurry around to get the balls out in time and put them on their spots. Forty-four. Forty-five. They always say, as you get older, you slow down in everything you do. But Ronnie O'Sullivan is running around the table tonight. You can't really play any quicker than this. About four minutes in the Six frames, to one. all done. This break. <laughs> We've had frames in Six this to seven. tournament so far that have been lengthier than the first five frames in this match. Only 77, 77 in absolutely no time. Joe, he is 29. He'll probably be faced with that same red. I don't think it goes to the left middle. It's very, very tight. Today, but that one he stroked it in. Played it with a fairly decent control. Seven. What a shot that is. I mean, he didn't have to play it. But he was so confident about getting the precise cannon and be on the other red. Sorry? Would you please stop moving? Asking, especially when they're down on a shot. Yeah, okay. Would you please moving. stop? Make sure you don't I don't know move. what's Thank happening, but somebody in the front row is yeah, moving they on. Both know that. Well. Both know that. Don't worry. <laughs> It's very hard to turn that round in a couple of hours. Usually, if you're really not putting balls at long range, you need a few days on the practice table to start queuing them again. But tonight, we've been better. 19. 20. That's a good shot, too. He's got the red out in the open, which he knew he'd be on. Always going to be frames where Sullivan would just march on. But when that man got in, he knew he had to make more than what he did. Looks like he's tried to hold the spot there, so he's on the red by the green. Still get so through to the red. His place of play in this break has been a little more temperate. Oh. 
but who could have Perennial foreseen that? I think he got very briefly distracted by somebody, got up and started the procedure again, and never thought he'd miss. One. Seven. Eight. Thirteen. Fourteen. Twenty-two. Probably a good decision to try and get onto the brown. This is the last piece, really, of the jigsaw. Not a pressurised frame ball. So it's one. But getting one snooker is eminently realistic. Higgins would like to see the back of this brown. Six. Well, the missed green were nicely in amongst them. Cost Ronnie O'Sullivan dear. It's all tied up again. Think about this. Playing off the blue back to the other end. Blue staying near a pocket Four. actually becomes significant now. He can get from the blue to the red just above and to the right of the black. It could be away now. Some shot to get in off. Nine. That opening red, I can tell you. Ten. Well, this is a different display from O'Sullivan to the 17. one. Seventeen. We saw against Jimmy 18. White earlier. We saw against Meiji Wen in the English Open. And in between that, the World Open he lost to Dominic Dale, who did play well. Ronnie has decided to come out and be ultra aggressive. 25. 26. And this is against the man he respects more than anybody in the game as a player. Whenever you hear Ronnie O'Sullivan talking about who he fears most, who he respects most, who he thinks he's the best 33. player, the name John Higgins always comes up. 
34. Now then, it could be all about the shot. Yeah, he wanted to play on the loose one. Might just feel that it's easier from blue into bunch. 41. Than it is from the black. He's got a wonderful snooker brain. Quick to see the, the value shot. Something about that. I don't Roger know. Sullivan, 41. I suspect he was distracted. Is the reason he got up once. He did look, give someone a bit of a glare. I don't know what happened there. One. Just one awkward red on the table. Eight. Nine. Seventeen. He doesn't want to be straight. He has got a slight angle, in fact. Very good shot. Calculated. Twenty-four. Yes, and a little unlucky to put a second red close to a cushion. 25. Yeah, good point. He'll certainly need both of those reds. the spots are occupied so it will go somewhere near to the red it might either tie the red or the black itself up so figures that he can pop the red and he certainly Third can he might want to free one of those other three reds on the side cushion here it's a chance well he's knocked two out for good measure Well, this looks heavy. Well, wow, that's a surprising pace Four to nine. misjudgment from John. He did okay, but he got that far. He felt he might take that break even further, even deeper into the frame. He's never hit this by quite a long way, in fact. No obvious reason. Oh, oh. oh the He's trying to work out how he's going to get that pupil up the table on the safety. Incredible. He has to play a clever shot here, though. Wow. 
surely not. That is an astonishing play. That is unbelievable. The two together, Seven. if this red goes in down the rail. Breathtaking. And it does. What a way to forge a match-winning chance. Well, I suppose if it hadn't gone in, we'd have said it would have been the wrong shot, but I think that pink ball onto that red is one of the best shots 13. I've seen for a very long time. 15. And I can't believe it. And John Higgins must be thinking, how on earth has he put himself in a position to clear up from where the balls were? 18. Absolutely outrageous. 22. The blue is frame and match ball. Sullivan, but I've seen something different here. Amazing film. And Sullivan in the pink. And the Portugal pink that was out of this world. Unbelievable the way he completed that victory. He defeats John Higgins by six frames to three. And now the semi-finals of this champion of champions.